Hello, my name's Dan and it's the 20th of August 2022 and here I stand in my polytunnel in Essex in the southeast of the UK. So in USDA Zone 8B here and we've had quite a warm summer by UK standards and I'm going to make in a video today showing you how my watermelons are doing. So watermelons growing them in a climate such as the UK can be a little bit tricky. We've got a relatively short growing season even down here in the southeast where we can get some of the warmest and hottest summers by UK standards but either way certainly challenging and it's generally a good idea to grow them under cover in a greenhouse or a polytunnel and of course growing them during the warmer months where there's no frost etc and you need a nice warm temperature as well you know so ideally you want a minimum of about 20 to 25 degrees C which can be rather tricky to achieve hence why I grow mine in a polytunnel now interestingly enough this year I reckon I could have had a crop growing them outside, but one cannot predict the weather, can they? So there we are. Anyway, we'll have a look at what we've got. So I'll show you down here. Variety Blacktail Mountain, and absolutely wonderful. Look at that. So that's one. And the way you tell if a watermelon is ready is this tendril sort of dries out and goes brown. And on the bottom of the melon, you see where that's a pale green? That tends to go yellow, and that can indicate the watermelon is ready. So that's one watermelon there. And... Uh, got a second no we haven't we've got two there so that's three and uh, behind the chilies here we've got a, another one that's four watermelons you see that and we have one more here so that's five and then up here growing it's latched itself onto the grapevine we have a sixth just there and here we have a seventh there we go. So looking good. I'm watering them every day. Some are being grown in containers. Some are in the ground. How are your watermelons doing? What variety of watermelon are you growing? And uh, once again, let me know. See you in the next video. And as always, thanks for your time. And there really is loads to show. Plenty to come up. If you'd like to hear about when that comes up, please feel free to subscribe. You can see there, look, aubergines, chilies, peppers, grapes, etc., etc. And uh, we shall speak soon.